Thanks again to Lululemon getting behind rising tides and uh, it is a fantastic initiative and, and we've seen the big smiles from all the young girls all over the world as we've taken the, the world's best surfers to their local breaks over the year. Uh, and Caroline Marks is still younger than some of the people <laughs> yeah. taking part in rising tides and now she's going for a world title but right now it's Paige Harab up, up against Sally Fitzgibbons in this first heat of the round of 16. Quarterfinal spots up for grabs now. And Paige, she's chasing requalification just outside the top 10 coming into this event. Yeah, there's a lot on the line for Paige at the moment, and she narrowly escaped. She yeah, has for a long time now been the sole representative for New Zealand on the Women's Championship Tour. It's awesome to see. And just noting on this wave, there's so much chop that Paige had to contend with. So on her backhand, that wave kind of just fattening off, she kicks up. Uh, talking to Glenn, I, I know that she's really focused on getting a big result here. Sally Fitzgibbons during that interview had this wave. Yeah, Sally just looking for some steeper face to work with on this wall. You can see her just getting whacked around on this wave. She knows this keiki ball might offer something of substance as it starts to stand up. She winds back into that white water. It's so tricky, that wave. I mean, when you look at it for Sal, there wasn't too much opportunity to get vertical to find critical open face because you can tell how slopey it is. Well, Sally Fitzgibbons, she's put herself in a, a great position on the Jeep leaderboard coming into this final event. And right up there with Stephanie Gilmore, the two highest placed Australians. We know the top eight qualify from the, the championship tour WSL event that unfolds. So we're seeing a lot of her really making a name for herself. DJ name is Shimmy Disco. Make sure you check her out. As we see Sally Fitzgibbons up now. A couple of nice turns. Clean wall to work with here for the Australian. And really just air spending her way through to the inside. A lot of rail work on that ride. Wow, beautiful ride. So Sally, medium-sized wave for her. She bides her time, does the cutback, just looking for that steeper section. She kind of cuts down on the bottom so she can wait for it to stand up. I mean, it is just all about timing on these walls. You go too far out on that open face and you really miss the opportunity to get critical. That right there, great snap from Sally to end off that ride. Just beautiful technique. We're talking about that forehand wrap that she has on lock. Look at those arms. I mean, all of that is just attention to detail in that technique. Touches that water. She goes into that bottom turn to keep that tight arc. Wraps back to the white water. Comes out with speed. This end section starts to stand up. She eyes it off. Finds that lip. Gets low. Gets compressed because she knows she's going to have to come out and keep just right out in front of that white water. Ten and a half minutes remaining here in the first heat. The round of 16, a quarterfinal spot up for grabs. Paige Harab is desperate for a big result. She'd love to crack the quarters here. Driving off the bottom. Trying to find a bit of clean face to drive off that wave. Just splits in half and really offers her nothing down the line. She'll still be looking for that big number, 6.49. Sally Fitzgibbons on the outside now. Over. Second place is a loss. So our surfers being much more selective and Paige opting to pick off this one. Nice snap under the lip there. Hangs onto it. Is the wave going to double up for it? Doesn't look like it will. That's where Sally had that priority. Let's Paige have a sniff at this wave. Paige gets to do this one critical maneuver under the hook there. Gibbons with a big opportunity here to increase a lead. Trying to better a 3.33. Big hook off the top. Drives up into the pocket once again. All these big carving rail turns will be accentuated by the fact that that wind is going to blow that spray right up into the sky. And Sally's finishing off another solid ride here. Yeah, wow. I mean, just watch where Sally places her center of gravity. It's always just directly over her board. She wants to absorb all the lump and bump. Sally into an absolute nugget. Bides her time on the bottom, gets deep on that bottom turn, really gets that torque and leans into that first turn, sets her up for the second. But that center of gravity, like I mentioned, just always directly over her board, just in complete control, displaying great technique. Just her, her consistency, the consistency in her performance, it, it's always there, Rosie. Have a look at this turn. That is exactly what we were talking about earlier. I think there was a, you know, a, a 
period of time for uh, a few years there where Sally's turns were a little flatter than that. That was the, the rail being completely buried there in a very critical section of the wave. Do you know what? To me, it's something that Sally has maybe taken bits and pieces from Carissa's technique at this location. Because you look at the way that she positioned her body. It's convinced me that Lakey's got a good shot at it. So <laughs> hey. it's going to be awesome to see it unfold. Well, Lakey did defeat Tyler in that seeding round. Let's see if Sally can improve on her situation. Smaller inside wave that's going to hit the Kiki ball just right. Still a lot of milky face to work with. Bangs that section right there. I just love the way that Sally's linking her maneuvers together. She knows what's expected of her on these waves. It sounds like he, he's figured out a way to motivate Blakey and keep her, her emotions in check going into to what will no doubt be a very tough battle. But Paige Harab up at the moment trying to find her way back into contention here and break combination. Yeah, so tricky the position that Paige has been put in at the moment by Sally. I mean, that could improve, you know, her top two scores, not miss timing sections. Beautiful takeoff there from Paige, but then this wave just gets slopey. It's so tricky. That wave selection is so important. There's just been a few surfers out there today as we watch this replay, Rosie, who've looked a little more comfortable in the conditions or just their technique has suited the conditions more than others. Very big as we see Sally up again. Good size wave. This one's just going to uh, fatten out into the channel though. Might do it before the event kicks off tomorrow. Here we go. Sally Fitzgibbons taking off once again. Feeling the groove. Nice top turn there. Trying to better a 6.27. Good looking wave. Nice jam there. Gets that board redirected into the bowl. Working it over through to the inside. Just feeling the groove and looking very, very comfortable. We're looking at Sally's results this season. She's looking to finish the year uh, on a very strong note. She's had a magic season. As we see, Paige up, fighting for that 9.44. And she's just going to lose it over that toe side rail. What a performance from the Australian. She has knocked Paige Harab out of the contest in convincing fashion. An excellent score. An eight-point ride, also a 6.27. And she's into the quarters once again here.